right, Patrick. Uh, number nine, I wonder if you viewers knew that in 2016, an animated version of Zoolander came out. No. The chill wave. Magnetic North Helvetica Bowl. Uh, you probably didn't know about it because it was only released in the UK and Ireland, but now Zoolander's supermodel is available on some platforms here. It's about uh, an hour and a half long, and it's basically a bunch of episodes strung together. Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, Christine Taylor, and the late Jerry Stiller are joined by a lot of other big names. Uh, like Jenny Slate, Nick Kroll, Pat Oswalt, with celebrity cameos from people like Tim Gunn mm. and Katy Perry. You didn't know that. Wow. Mm. What do you know? Number eight wins sustainable style. Made streetwear. You get stuff like this. Handbags made from old sneakers. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they're from an artist named Al Amin. Yeah. There you go. She's the owner of a fashion label called Harem. And her website is full of all kinds of amazing creations. Says her love of Look shoes started when she worked at Foot Locker. That is pretty cool. And she bought a ton of sneakers, collected them. So last year she decided to take them apart and create a handbag collection. That's uh, awesome. That's neat. That is cool. All right, number seven, an American lady recently annoyed uh, certain Europeans when she pointed out how amazed she was that people in Paris have butter sandwiches. She was explaining how casual places will serve a ham sandwich with just a little butter yeah. on it. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. The lady excitedly explained, it's good. Well, hmm. Europeans and Australians couldn't believe this was new to Americans, but, you know, some they people... They don't know much about Americans. I, I don't understand. Yeah. I mean, my grandfather used to eat butter on his sandwiches all yeah. the time. Yeah. They do it in Wisconsin. I mean, yeah. yeah. Indiana, big in Indiana, too. Yeah. You spread I like it better everything. than the mayo. The mayo has such a tang to it. It's not mm. my favorite, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Really interesting. It is. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fun one. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, number six. Uh, Want to get uh, married this year? Make your partner Miranda Lambert's meatloaf. Lambert says it was the key to not one, but two marriages. First to Blake Shelton. That marriage didn't last. But she's been happily married for the last several years now to the very handsome Brendan McLaughlin. And according to Lambert, it's the loaf ah. that'll get you the ring. The meatloaf is Lambert's mom's recipe. It's known as Bev's meatloaf or engagement meatloaf. It's got beef and pork sausage, plus crushed saltines and lots of ketchup. Plus it's topped with uh. a sweet and tangy glaze. I think it's uh, that sweet and tangy part that is probably the key. Boy, to this I haven't had a meatloaf bit. in a long time. Yeah, they gotta try so that. So the loaf fun. gets you the ring and what gets you the divorce papers. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we ought to figure that out before. <laughs> right, yeah, it's too right. late. Yeah. Before we need to break yeah. out that meatloaf again. Yeah. Short-term gain, yeah. huh. long-term pain. Yeah. Interesting. Uh. Number five, we're looking at car seats from the 60s and 70s. This is back in the day when mom and dad smoked in the car. <laughs> the windows rolled all the way up. And they shoved all the neighborhood kids in the back of the station wagon yeah. to get them to the park. No yeah. seat belts. Yeah. There were no real regulations. And you just kind of piled in there, remember? Yeah. 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 That oh, worked. I survived. bet they complained about that the entire time. <laughs> yeah. There's no room for my beer bottles in here with this <laughs> damn seat. Where am I going to put my cigarette out? <laughs> Leave that one. Yeah, he's just laying his back. Safe. You know how much fun riding in cars is? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's fine. Are we all turned out okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, number four, some Americans see this photo and think that's the London Bridge, but it's not. Uh, this is the London Bridge, and it's actually pretty boring. The first one is called Tower Bridge, and uh, is obviously the more grand of the two. They both cross the River Thames. The current look of Tower Bridge was built over the last few decades of the 1800s, but it has been uh, built and rebuilt many times since, as far back as the 1100s. There's even an old chimney that looks like a lamp post that goes down to a fireplace in a guard room in one of the towers. Hmm. There is also a high-level walkway at the top. And in the old days, 
prostitutes and pickpockets would oh. hang out up there. That's nice. There's no telling what you can get for a sixpence, am I right? Uh, anyway, <laughs> Gubna. Uh, these days, you can still walk across, but it's enclosed in glass and it's an exhibition space. Mm. Uh, so you have to bring your own prostitute. Oh, yeah, that's not as convenient. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. not. <laughs> All right, number three, an article from the New York Post raises an issue that there we'd we like go. to weigh in on. Uh, the headline is, after my nephew's restaurant birthday party, the host texted me to make me pay. Uh, this comes from a woman who posted on the Facebook group called Moms on a Budget. When she and her family were invited to attend, there was no mention of them paying their way. So she assumed she didn't need to, and just after the meal, she got up and left because they had another thing that they had to get to. But later, the host messaged her to ask her to pay for her family's share. Oh, brother. The mother concluded her post by asking, is paying for your own meal at a kid's birthday party really a thing? Mm. I yeah. think if you're inviting people to a party, yeah. you're paying. You pay and if you can't yeah. afford to take everyone to a restaurant, you have cake at your house or yeah. something where it's mm -hmm. not expensive. It, you're inviting people, of course they think you're a guest. Yeah. What do you think? I would think that way until I found out she runs a blog called Mums on a Budget, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now I'm glad she had to pay. <laughs> and uh, I think she should pay double. <laughs> That's All right, All right That's number fair. two. You want to know if your soil is healthy? Oh, yeah. Bury your underwear in oh, your okay. All right. And you check back 60 mm -hmm. days later. Okay. If your underwear is gone. <laughs> she her yeah. backyard and there's nothing, <laughs> Don't say that word. If you're, if after 60 days, if there's nothing left except for the elastic band, your yeah. soil is nice and healthy. Now, Why? here's the catch. The underwear has to be 100% cotton. Here's why this test works. Cotton is made of cellulose and natural sugar, which is good food for microorganisms. All so right. the healthier your soil is, the more it will eat away at those underwear. Mm. Ah. It's also a popular experiment with grade school kids. I see. Well, who knew? So it's not a test about if your underwear is healthy, it's if your soil is if healthy. If your soil yeah. is healthy, but it has huh. to be 100% cotton okay. underwear. Yeah, all right. Uh, That'd be fun to do that out in the front yard. Maybe Let's all bring a pair in tomorrow. Let's do it as a botanic garden uh, segment. Everybody uh, bring yes. a pair out in your pants. And we check back in 60 that days. That would be yeah. very so watchable segment. See if he's willing to come in. That would be funny. Yeah. yeah, we got 60 days. And, and then the... put Ben Bradley, yeah. you know, this investigative yeah. guy standing Thank over you. it to make sure yeah, it he's got a lot day. of underwear. I, got yeah. I just want the world to know Larry still wears tidy whities That's why I still want You know he does. These are mine. Because <laughs> his pants are up to here, yeah. so you know Pulse he's gold. got it. For the Lord. Not a percent got it. Where are these, Robin? <laughs> oh, big glare. Uh, uh, number you. one, you might have uh, come across it. <laughs> 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 it's funny because he's a big guy with yeah, real yeah, underpants. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. it's funny. I'd be mean, like yeah. me wearing big underpants. Yeah. That would be funny. Uh, scroll, scroll back. If you can. Yeah, let's start over. Uh, you sorry. might have come across a compelling <laughs> video <laughs> of a couple singing a very strange song and wondered, what the heck is this? It's called Taste the Biscuit. Oh. Uh, let's look at it a bit and I can explain. Okay. At least I'll try to. Taste the Biscuit. Oh, yeah. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Oh, this is a song. Taste the honey sauce. Taste the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. This was big a long time ago, right? Yeah, we had that these people on the show, I think. On me. I don't like the no, way I don't remember taste any of this. Well, she chicken is wings. selling it, though. Whatever yeah. she's selling her biscuits, uh, she's selling it. Taste the biscuit. A good biscuit doesn't, doesn't need much salesmanship, not really. It sells itself. Who's this fella? Now see, this is, we've been doing the Taste 9 at 9 too long, because now we're circling back yeah. and we forget what we had yes. in the 9 at you 9. Do you remember doing this? Yeah. I have we no did. recollection. It's about this, uh, them, right? well, I'll read, do you want to read it then? No, go ahead. No, go ahead. I just don't know if I'm remembering it correctly. I don't remember any of this. Uh, this is actually from an independent movie called Chickens in the Shadows from 2011. The director is Vincent Gargiulo. It's a feature film mockumentary about a legendary pop duo called Toasters and Moose. 
The premise is that Toasters and Moose, formed in 1979, put out one album and disbanded. The mockumentary picks up 30 years later as their old manager has brought them together again for a three-day tour of Northern California. In real life, the clip of the song Taste the Biscuit has gone viral a few times now. Uh, Toaster and Moose have even gotten some live gigs lately. You can check out Vincent's website. He has a lot of cool stuff on there. And he's uh, fun on the socials, the Instagram, so, and the uh, TikTok. I could tell you wanted to try the potato wedges. Is this coming back to you, Robin? Did we tell yeah, them the we story correctly? We, there was a different one where the people did a commercial in their store that we talked to those people. Oh. But this one, we did show this song before. Yeah. I remember. I remember that commercial. Though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a lot of show. Listen. It's a lot of show. Lot. We've okay, never been the best with around. record keeping. But it's great here. seeing it again. Yeah. Boy, look how I had a two tone goatee. Right? How do you yeah. do that? How do you get the middle hair different color? Taste the biscuit. You digest Taste the center the goodness there. Of the biscuit. Oh, everyone's involved. Mm. See why this is a hit, though. It's catchy. It is sauce. catchy. I think it's it's a little, there's a lot of innuendo in this song. I feel like there's some hidden meaning. Get I don't like the way it tastes. <laughs> it's a night and night.